Hello friends and thank you for being here. It's me again May and I'm back with a new reading journal video. So in this video, I decided that I'll be talking as I journal so that I can explain to you my process and what I have in my reading journal so far. Let me know what you think of this change in the comments down below. So as usual, I'm using my Nara notebook from Notebook Therapy. This is inspired by the village of Nara here in Japan. You can use my affiliate code Made in Manila when you make a purchase. So here are the pages that I have so far. Um, this is the cover page. Here's the code page for 2022. Here's a table of contents in the books that I've read this year. And my A Year in Books page, here are my reading goals. And sadly, I failed to return the remains of the day on time, so I've already crossed out this reading goal. I am always bad at returning library books on time, so I kind of knew that I would fail this goal. Uh, I created these Dutch doors so that I could see the books that I read every month. These are the books that I've read in January. And sad to say, in February, I've only read one because... Uh, there are so many cases here in Japan that the libraries are currently closed. Really, really sad about that. Um, here are my reading goals. So, happy to report that I have read in a new school and in a new city here in Tokyo. Because of the rising cases, a lot of English teachers are absent and I had to sub for them. So, I went to a few new schools this month. The next one is my library checkout page. So these are just the two dates and the books that I borrowed from the library. And here's the second page of that that I want to decorate later in the video. Here's my spread for normal people. Uh, Night Train to the Stars, as you can see this is unfinished and we'll finish this later together. My journal spread for Daddy Long Legs. And an unfinished spread for the remains of the day by Kazuo Ishiguro. And here's a spread that I did for Never Let Me Go. And another unfinished one about the night diary. So let's get started. So let's start today's journaling by decorating my second library checkouts page. I'm going to make it similar to the first one that I created. So let's start with the titles. And I'm going to use the typewriter alphabet stamps from Notebook Therapy. Let's get stamping. I used to be very particular with how the letters should be aligned. But now I really don't mind it. Like, you know what they say, that perfection is boring. Right? For me, it actually adds a little bit of character when some of the letters are not perfectly aligned, so that's okay. Now I'm going to decorate the pages using this butterfly stamp set from Notebook Therapy, as well as this butterfly washi tape set. Oh no, let's just finish that drawing. Gosh. All right. An imperfect butterfly. That's okay. This is how I usually clean stamps before I put them back. Let's make a little collage over here using the washi tapes. And lastly, let's add a quote. For the first page, we used I used the quote, Let It Go, which is very appropriate for the spread. Um, let's try to find a new quote from my quote book. I got this from Amazon. You can find it in the Amazon link in the description. I'm going to choose this quote that says, Make it happen. Yes, me. Make it happen. 
return your library books on time if you can there we go and we're done so let's go to I'm gonna remove this clip now and let's go to the next page so the next spread that we're going to finish is this spread for Night Train to the Stars. So to give you a quick summary of the book, it is about a boy named Giovanni. And with his friend, they took a magical train to the stars and to heaven. I'm not going to spoil the book for you, but the themes are friendship, mortality, the concept of heaven. I highly recommend it. It's very heartwarming and heartbreaking at the same time. So the theme that I'm going for is just galaxy and the moon and mostly blue. So I want to put a washi tape here. Let me just go find something over here. Here are all of my washi tapes. This is how I store most of my washi tapes now and I store them by color so that I can find them easily. Here are my blues, my yellows and oranges, my greens and my pink washi tapes. So I'm just gonna find a blue washi tape that is perfect for this spread. You can also use my discount code when you shop for washi tapes at the washi tape shop. Okay, so I don't want to leave this space blank. So let's just pick a washi tape there. Um, what I usually do is find something that is plain or mostly plain. Like this washi tape. And then I combine it with something that has a little bit more of a pattern. Another thing that I like about using this uh, system of storage is that I can try to see what the washi tape will look like before putting it on. Yeah, I don't want to overpower the images that we have over here, so I'm just going to use a washi tape from Muji. Yeah, all right, I think that looks so much better, but I there's a weird space over here, so let's just change that and maybe put this up there. Let me put this a little bit up. And then this one over here. Okay, I like that better. Now for the little space over here, I just want to add a sticker. You can get these stickers from my shop if you like. Let's add one circle over here. And then a darker circle over here. Okay, and that particular corner is done. To go with the Polaroid, I am going to add this sticker over here. So the stickers that I use in this video can be purchased from my online shop link down in the description. Now that I'm done decorating, I'm going to just spend some time writing. I usually write quotes from the book and the pen that I'm using is my favorite, Pentel Energel 0.5. I'm done with the coat here and there is still a weird space over here that I want to fill. So I am just going to grab this uh, moon and star stickers and put something over here. So for this side of the page, I am just going to write my thoughts about the book and how I related to it personally. I am quickly switching to the Zebra Sarasa 0.5 gel pen. So there is a quote about happiness in the book that I really liked and I'm going to write it on this page.
quotes. So I am done writing one of my favorite quotes from the book. And I don't want to spoil it for you, but if you're someone who has recently lost a close friend or family member, I highly recommend you reading this book because the author lost his younger sibling, which resulted to this book being written. And it's really therapeutic to read as well. Um, and it gives you a whole different perspective on grief and how it changes you as a person. So we have a space over here that we have not filled out. Um, I don't know what to do with that yet, but let's see. So I'm just going to put a slim washi tape over here. Let's choose this Van Gogh one. Yeah, that's perfect. Then I'm going to pick this coat that says, Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. So this is what the spread looks like. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I love all of the blue accents here and there. And it very well matches with the galactic theme of the book. So now that we're done, we're going to our next unfinished spread, which is this one for the remains of the day by Kazuo Ishiguro. For the past reading spreads, I did the same calligraphy for the title, so I want to make it a bit different for this spread. Let's see. I want to get a brown, this is a brown zig brush pen, to write the title. Actually, let's use this lighter brown. It's not gonna fit so bad because it's already looking really good okay let's start over it has to fit here Okay. So next, I am just going to add some shadows using my Sakura Pigma Micron. Alright. And now we are going to cut. I'm using my scissors from Studio Ghibli. The entire novel is a first-person narration of an old English butler going on a road trip in England. And it was set in the 1950s, so the entire spread will be vintage, I think. And during his trip, he recounts events that happened in the old English house where he served as a butler. And it touches on the World War in the 1930s. Uh, and the themes are about service and what it means to be a great butler but i think it translates to what it means to be a good person is what i picked up at least that's what i picked up from the book i really like this book and it's very well written and it's also the reason why right after reading this book i 
just immediately picked up my second Ishiguro book that was available in the library, which was Never Let Me Go. And this completely broke my heart. So I um, filmed a reading journal video about that. If you wish to check it out, I will link it in the cards up above. I also got this tool from Amazon that is really helpful when sticking paper onto the books. So I want to add two book stamps here and here. So let me just choose which ones I like. I like this one over here. Okay, that is not so bad. A little bit imperfect, but that's fine. Here, I'm just going to put a couple of washi tapes. So again, following the pattern of something plain and something with a pattern. Yeah, let's just put a grid one over here. They're just really good to use for vintage spreads. Let's just put the Polaroid over here. So now the next part is me choosing some vintage themed stickers. Uh, this is how I store stickers using an A6 binder. You can find a binder linked in the Amazon description below. So what I want to do for the rest of the spread is just write my favorite quotes and then decorate with the stickers here and there. Right, so for this particular quote, I think the perfect sticker to go with it is this bottle of wine and a wine glass. This sticker sheet is available in my shop, by the way. This sticker is a little bit different than most stickers because you have to cut it out. So it doesn't need to be perfect. So just cut the part that you like. Peel the backing very carefully. Place it where you want it to be. I think I want it to be here. So it's pretty much like those DIY tattoos that we used to put on when we were kids. I don't know if you ever did that, if that makes any sense. And then the most satisfying part of it all is peeling this and seeing it go like a stamp. And what I love about it is it doesn't look like a sticker. At the end of the process, it looks like it's part of the paper itself. Really cool. Anyway, let's go and move on to our second quote. It was a road trip, so I think it's appropriate to put this car sticker over here. Right, I'm almost done with the left page. I just want to add a teeny tiny washi tape over here. For this part, I'll just put a sticker to go with the quote, you've got to enjoy yourself. I'm um, going to put this sticker of a girl reading. So this is from the Light Academia sticker sheet that you can get from my shop. 
So I decided to switch to my Tombow for the Noske to write a quote that I really like. So I'm going to write it in a bigger font. Oh shoot, yeah, I wanted to write this part in calligraphy, so I'm just going to erase that. For the calligraphy part, I switched to my Pentel uh, Touch brush pen. spot over here I just want to add a brown just a brown line and also perhaps a similar brown line over here and I'm gonna add a flower sticker over here So this is the last coat that I can possibly fit in the page. I wanted to write more, but let's just end it there. Um, and here I will just add this coffee sticker. I'm done decorating the page and this is what it looks like. I'm just going back with my Tombow uh, dual brush pen and a ruler to underline my favorite phrases. And that's it. So here are the spreads that we finished in today's video uh, for the remains of the day. Night Train to the Stars and the second page of my library checkouts. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and let me know in the comments what you think of this kind of videos and perhaps we can do it again in the next one for my next reading journal spread. I will see you guys in the next video and thank you so much for being here. Bye!